This is the Short This Podcast YouTube page. I mean, what's going on here? Episode 11. You know, we back in this thing <laughs> after doing 10 episodes. Big time. And Steph, y'all both look like y'all have changed locations on me. I don't like this. Everything is off. Uh, well, you know, my home is still a wreck, so I had to clear out a corner. She's underwater. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Are you still underwater? Oh, tell me in the apartment. I thought maybe you thought I sounded like I was in bikini. Oh, body. yeah. No, 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 no. That's oh, a, yeah, that's a different. I can't hear you. It's like the thing went down on me this time. Yeah. I hear you. Let me see if it does it like this. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Oh, there it is. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. We didn't lose you. We yeah, we didn't lose you. You lost us. I think I got a shortage in my in my cord. No. Ain't that something? Yeah, I think I got a shortage. I can hear y'all now. I'm just holding the cord. Ain't that something? Mm. Oh wow. That stinks. I it know. It might be tired. It might be tired. It's all gravy. I'm holding on to it. Mm-hmm. So uh no, I was talking about literally Steph, you're underwater over there. Man, yeah, kind of sort of still. My carpet looks a whole hot mess. And I'm not they comfortable. The they did. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's bare floor. Like, everything. Oh, yeah. they haven't replaced the carpet yet? No. Oh, my God. Today's oh. Thursday. No, tomorrow's Thursday when this drops I'm, on Thursday. I'm so uncomfortable in my home. Wow. So, so you're basically on concrete floor right now? Yes. Damn. Yes, I'm uncomfortable in my home. I have furniture piled in the kitchen, furniture in the bed. Like it's it's so uncomfortable. That is beyond inconvenient. It is. Mm-hmm. They gotta very, do something ahead tomorrow. Very sorry to hear that you going through all these changes, man. Oh man. Wow, that really sucks. Yeah. Well, we thank you guys for tuning in with us last week on the show um really uh great viewership the highest we've had since episode four so i just wanted to tell you all thank you continue to visit our youtube page continue to listen watch share whatever you know what i mean um this week john was the one that has some things something for us to try that nobody could find. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> Amazon had them, but they were going to get here December 3rd. Woo. Well, yeah. this is still in the same vein, but not the same company. Um, as you watched on episode 10, John said that we were going to try to, what was it, the Reggie ship? No, not Reggie. It vegan was Reggie. Rob. Veg, vegan Rob's. Oh, okay. <laughs> I kept thinking that man named Reggie. <laughs> Big Rob Reggie, same thing. No, it's not the same thing. That's just like if I say Keith and John, same thing. It is almost. We're family. Yeah. It's all right. All right. It's in that same family. Sad to scramble. I got mine from Publix. Where did you guys get yours? Target. I got mine from Publix. You know, I'm the queen of Target. Target. So this is what we'll be trying today. It's called Real Food from the Ground Up. I should have got the cheddar. I have the sea salt. Yeah. So I had put in the sea salt, but they didn't have it. So I did it through Instacart and they said they would give it on cheddar. Have you ever have you guys ever tried these before? No, no this is the first time. Target no. had the sea salt, the cheddar, and a sour cream and onion. Oh wow. A sour cream and onion. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, let's go ahead and jump into it. It is snacks with a plant based twist. I know they're good. Mm. Oh. Oh, they look nice. a little cute. They, they smell. <laughs> John, why you- the smell is just. And y'all have the cheddar. If the sea salt smells like this, I know the cheddar smells bad. Oh, it smells horrendous. Oh, it smells like feet. Like, y'all ready? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Come on, God. Mm. It's not bad. Mm-mm. It's not. 
I got a burnt taste of mine. Is that normal? I don't think mine so. T- mine tastes like veggie straws. Yeah, that's exactly what it tastes like. You've ever had veggie like. straws? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Well, yeah, that's I really what don't, it tastes. Yeah. I don't really don't taste the cheese that, that much. I don't taste the cheese at all. I taste but it the is salt because pl- they got a lot of salt on these. 240 milligrams of sodium. The sea salt has 180 milligrams of sodium. I don't see anything about cheddar in the ingredients. Cassava, vegetable oil, cheddar. sunflower, safflower, canola oil, olive oil, cauliflower, parboiled par- rice, mm-hmm. rice flour, sorghum, whole grain brown rice, salt, natural flavors, maltodextrin, Vegetable blend, spinach, broccoli, carrot, tomato, beet, shiitake, mushroom, paprika, yes. extract, lactic acid. No mm-hmm. mention of any cheddar flavoring. So how the hell is it cheddar? They probably use the paprika and stuff probably, to try to make like a yeah. cheddar. Mm-hmm. Oh. And it's probably smoked More paprika plant-based. because smoked paprika has like a cheesy It does. It does. It, it mm-hmm. does. All right. I like these. Not something I would eat on a day to day basis. Are you I need a, little, a healthy alternative, though? I need a it little is. queso to go with this. I'm you not a 24 big shit person. 24 not, pieces is just 140 calories. It's not bad. I'm not big on chips. I like those. That's my new snack. Yeah, I'm going to house these. <laughs> I, oh, yeah. Y'all know my nieces tease me because I'm, I'm the healthy snack auntie. So. Yeah. Why'd you drop us over here? All she got them healthy snacks. No little I, Debbie. No yeah, Hostess, I have a, I No have, McDonald's fry grease over here. I have here. veggie straws and apples and kale chips in my kitchen. Kale chips are good. They are. I love to make my own. I like apples with peanut butter. Mm-hmm. No raisins, please. Oh my God. So listen, John and I were able to procure. <laughs> uh, a couple of drinks from Trader Joe's. We're going to start off with this one. If you guys have a Trader Joe's in your area, this is called uh, Southern Tier Brewing Company Seasonal Pumpkin Imperial Pumpkin Ale. Steph lives in the city of where they don't have anything. We do have Trader Joe's. I just didn't get up there. They ain't got nothing up there. So here we go. Look at here. Let's try it out, John. Salute. Salute. Steph, looking. Let me know how it is. Is it nasty? It came through my nose. I don't like it. You can tell you're not a drinker. (coughs) I'm still tearing these up. Look at John's face. You got that nasty um, pumpkin aftertaste. Oh, it was Mm. nasty. See. That's the ancestors getting y'all back because pumpkin don't belong in drinks and stuff. I keep telling y'all that. Listen, I enjoy a nice pumpkin bread from mm-hmm. Starbucks. or I even like a slice of pumpkin pie. You know, mm-hmm. I had a slice of pumpkin pie the other day at Village Inn, and it was pretty damn good. I don't do With pumpkin some whipped cream, nothing. warmed Where's it up. Where's the Village Inn? There's a Village Inn right over there off of Saint, in St. Saint Cloud um, off of 13th Street. Damn. My ancestors were not whipped and hung for y'all to be putting pumpkin in stuff. Oh, my Lord. They use pumpkin. <clears throat> Listen, that was god awful. But we also got one more. If you like pumpkin, you'll love I guess you'll love that drink. I'm that tearing is, these up. These that's are good. Bitter. It was very bitter. It, the aftertaste is what made me spit up like Triple H. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> But the shit went through my, I mean, the mess went through my nose. Sorry, you two. Um, well, you had it worse than I did then. They curse yeah. worse than you do. <sighs> well, listen, what you got there, John? What is this? Porto, Porto Morgado. Morgado. Bottled in Portugal. This was a wine that they had at uh, at uh, Trader Joe's. They said it was a dessert wine. It was like only Taylor like, Port, because y'all know I don't do Taylor Port, nothing. I don't know if it's like Taylor Port. I ain't never had Taylor Port. Ugh, that stuff oh, is so bad. gross. Damn, I can't even open this up. Let me hurry up. So, Steph, while we uh, open this, uh, mm-hmm. I'm trying to open it. John got his open. 
you're on the line. You're on a docket for next week's pick. Yes. Why in the hell can I open this thing? You got to take a knife to it. You don't have oh, a bottle man. opener? Got, yeah, it doesn't knife. require a bottle opener. It's a twist off cap. Oh. And the cork oh. is in the, is lodged within the cap. So uh, Ooh. you need a knife to get that uh, oh, black membrane man, are off. Are you serious? Yeah, I need to get that membrane off. I think it's a membrane, right? Yeah, I got it. Boom. Okay. I got it, son of a. <laughs> oh, Lord, he's going to curse the bottle out. Y'all ready for my pick? Or y'all going to taste first? Strong Hold on. Hold on one second, Steph. Steph, you're all out of control here. Get that pumpkin. I don't know. I, I feel like you're out of control since you're all out of sorts at home. What do you mean out of control? Because I sound With... eat pumpkin nothing? Yeah. Mm. And you're trying to rush I to your pump- pick. I eat pumpkin seeds. Woo. You eat pumpkin. pumpkin what now? Seeds. Gross. I, hope I roast them in they're the roasted, oven. And, right? Yeah, I roast them. And yeah, you I season put, them? Sometimes I'll do cinnamon and sugar. Sometimes I'll do like a savory. So oh, Winnie look the at my baby. Oh my God. You know I love Winnie the Pooh. Winnie's going to help me drink this. That's my boo. That's your wine glass? Yeah, for tonight. All right, oh, you know I got wine. I got four wine glasses up there that I retired. And you did. <laughs> okay. Why'd you retire them? Because it was during a, a S H I T T Y era of the show. You don't know who may be listening. Do you think I you? give a F U C K? But I'm out of control, John. Salute, John. Salute. Poor Winnie the Pooh. That is wow. sweet. Very. What's the name of it again? Let me go to Trader Joe's Saturday. Porto Morgado. Porto Morgado. Okay. Ooh. Oh. You know what it is? It's sweet, but it also it has, has like it has 20% alcohol in it. That's why. Ooh, okay. Y'all gotta that... work tomorrow. Bro, I was wondering why this damn thing is so strong. I'm like, I'm wait going a minute. To get some for Thanksgiving. Okay. It's sweet, but strong <laughs> as hell. Like, it's catching me all off guard. I didn't expect for it to be. I'm about to start sweating in a minute. Yeah, I'm going to put that back there. I'm definitely getting something for Thanksgiving. Mm. Woo, Jesus. Okay. Mm. I like the pinky finger in the edge. See, I don't like sweet wine. I like my wines dry. I don't like, like I'm, I'm a, I'm a Merlot You're a real lover. wine. Yeah, you, you like yeah. Iris. Y'all like them weird wines. I don't. Mm-mm. That's why I got to come back to Florida so we can go. Have a girl's day. Oh, yeah. Y'all can do that because I don't want none of that. Now, Saturday, I did go to this place called, um, what was it called? Saltgrass Steakhouse. How was that? Uh, it was okay. I didn't have a steak. I had like a, and don't, don't judge me, but I was watching my calories because my Weight Watchers thing was at the thing. I had a chicken fried chicken. And believe it or not, that was like the lowest, cal- one of the lowest calorie thing there. Really? On yeah, only 930 calories. So. I don't like going to steakhouse and not ordering steak. I know. It was very, very odd. I don't like doing that either. But at the time, I wasn't I wasn't really hungry to begin with either because I had had um, some pinchos a couple of hours before then. So it was like, eh, it was more of a, um, it was more of us getting together with some people, with friends and talking and. I'm about to say some people know these are my friends get together with friends and talk and catch up and stuff so um yeah but i had ordered a sangria a frozen sangria margarita how was that, and that oh man well i took like three sips of it and iris finished it off but man was that thing good Woo. I've never been a huge sangria drinker, but I make I make a phenomenal one, Steph. You'll be one after I make it. How so you gonna make one next time I come mm-hmm. to visit my friends Kobe and Dolly and y'all too? Which one you want, red or white? Red. Okay. Yes, I will. Yes. I will do that. So let's talk about it, Steph. What's your pick for next week? We are going to try the Lay's Poppables. Um, I want us to try the white cheddar and the honey barbecue. 
White, white cheddar, cheddar and honey, honey barbecue. barbecue. Lay's poppables. Okay, that sounds I'll like a deal. I'll text those to you. Mm. <sighs> All My right. mustache is starting to sweat. <laughs> see? see, that's the thing. I'm glad I didn't have it because I would want to drink, drink, and then I got to work in the morning. I you got to work in the morning. Uh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, after the day that I had today, if it wasn't such a strong taste to me, I would ship drink this whole bottle. You want to talk about it? Let's talk about it. Um, well, it was work related, so I can't really delve too much into it. But okay. let's just say that. Thank God for Jesus. Because um, any other time. With a certain person, I would have wanted to cause physical and bodily harm on someone um just because a person i deal with they purposely have been doing certain things when it comes to work and and um it's a long story but it, it, it i'll save it for the podcast y'all tune okay. in on tuesday tuesday for the podcast episode 94 if you want to hear it nice tease oh, no. <laughs> Way to um, plug it. so yeah yeah, we'll talk about it then. But so the cal- the cauliflower stalks. I love uh, them. Out of ten, what you give them? Me first. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, you delete it. I'm gonna give them a ten. Damn, I gotta go back and get the other flavors. It's that damn good. Okay, I want John. Some queso to go with it. Queso. Yeah. Out of ten, John. Nine point seven. Damn. I give it a five. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Five, because it tastes as burnt, and I ain't got a freaking cheddar taste in my mouth from this. I think I would bag. handle it better if I had like sea salt. Mm-hmm. Well, you need them to soak up all of that devil's juice you just drank. I ain't drink a lot of it still. That, I mm-hmm. still got a lot left in here. I'm just taking small sips that may look like big gulps. Put all that alcohol in a Winnie the Pooh cup. Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, he's going to drink this liquor with me and he's going to (laughs) get. John, with the um, the first drink that we had, the pumpkin imperial ale, what do you give that? The milk's gone sour. (laughs) Why is he like this guy? Two thumbs down. Yeah, I'm going to give it a zero. Do I have to give it a zero? Well, you gave it a well, zero? It's yes. horrible. It's, it's horrible. It's probably the worst taste of a beer. And I'm not a beer drinker, but um, this is probably the worst taste that I've ever had of a beer. Mm. Trader Joe's do better. Do freaking better. What about this wine, the Porto Margato? Out of 10, what you give it? Uh, I'll give it a strong seven. Baby. Baby. <laughs> a strong seven. She feel like she can't hear me. Oh, she got them Beats headphones on. So. Um, What's your rating? I'm going to give know. it a strong. You said a seven? Strong seven. Yeah, I'm going to give it a seven, too. I'm going to go with a seven as well. I think that it, it 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 took me it I was taken aback by how strong it was. Then you made you you pointed out how what the, the alcohol content was, and I was like, oh, okay. Now I know. Um, real quick before we get out of here, because you know we got to give a little bit of content. I don't want to just jump out of here without doing so. Steph. Yes. The Grammys are taking place on Sunday, February 5th of 2023. And you can't take my soul. You can't take my soul. Has bypassed. Wait, wait. You can't break my soul. Same thing. Yes. Uh, well, apparently the soul's already been taken to, according to one person. So listen. She bypassed uh, one of the top 15 greatest rappers of all time for Grammy nominations, her husband. Yeah, I if you don't 15. start with that top 15, please stop. He's the ghost. So, don't play with me. He actually looks like a camel, but um, they have record of the year. Trying to keep this middle finger down. Trying to keep this middle so, finger down. Hold on. Where is it? Why did my, 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 my stuff? There we go. Okay. So record of the year. 
<laughs> um, don't shut me down by ABBA, A B B A. Mm-hmm. Uh, easy on me, Adele. Break my soul, Beyonce. Good morning, gorgeous, Mary J. Blige. I never heard that song. You haven't what? heard? What? No, radio, I never. They play radio so stations have been much. killing that well, song. I, I, yeah, I got I sick of it after a while. I don't listen to the radio, but I got sick of people using it um, for their sound on like camera, camera. Um, TikTok and all that. You don't have to come on camera. Can you try uh, this real quick? I know you can't hear them, but try that and tell me what your taste is on that. Iris. Steph said, hey, Iris. Hey. Oh, she's so beautiful. So beautiful. What you think? Oh, she's frowning. Man. She loves healthy shit stuff. Sorry. Too late. It's too late. You know, it's for little kids over here. Mm. Oh, she does like it. See? What? She took a second bite. You like it, huh? Pretty good. She should okay. try the sea salt. Try that. What the heck is it? This is the Porta Morgado wine that we had got from Trader Joe's a couple of, about what a month. Porto, not Porta. Morgado. Porto. <laughs> Uh, she just she actually she actually corrected you in the way you pronounced it as well. Porto. Yeah, there you go. Porto you Morgado. Like Hold on, give me a moment. Okay. Um, so y'all, I have not you like it? Pretty good, like uh would be good with a sangria. It would be, be good with a sang- you're right, it would be good with a sangria. However, the fruit will make it sweeter. Uh-huh. Use a couple of things, but it won't it's pretty strong though. I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay with the uh, it is. the wine I get from the wine. What's the wine? The, vin- the vineyard we like to go to out there, Lake Ridge Winery. Lake Ridge? Yeah. No, it's good, but mm-hmm. you can still make a sangria out of it. Yeah. So the fruit is gonna make it sweeter. Okay. And you can add like all the other stuff you know, stuff to it. Yeah. Too. It's pretty yeah. good. Wow, it has a nice aftertaste too. Okay. All right. Thank well, you, baby. Adios. All right, <laughs> she didn't want to come on camera because she in there cleaning. No, Ain't nobody care about you having no makeup. I do. Listen, y'all make me come out here with no makeup all the time. Me too. Said by y'all. Um, <laughs> don't give yes. me a chance to make my face up ever. Oh, please, Steph, you don't need it. Listen, Good Morning Gorgeous, I've never heard it. Um, wow, uh-huh. so I got to listen to the song. You and Me on the Rock, <laughs> Brandy Carlisle featuring Carlisle. Lucius. Okay, Woman by Doja Cat. Mm. Bad Habit by Steve Lacey, The Heart Part Five by Kendrick Lamar, About Damn Time Lizzo. She's still making music, as it was Harry Styles. Who's going to win this? Unbiased stuff. Who's going to win? K Dot. Okay. Uh, John, who's going to win it? I don't care. I'm, son of. A, see, I'm trying not to curse, and you about to. <laughs> I don't know why you asked me. Like, like I'm gonna sit up there and wait for the, for the Grammys. I'm not <laughs> watching I, I, any of the Grammys. If I had noticed, I stop asking John stuff because I already know the answer. <sighs> if I had to choose, who who, who did you say? Abba, Adele, Beyonce, Mary J. Blige, Brandy Carlisle, Doja Cat, Steve Lacey, Kendrick Lamar, Lizzo, Harry Styles, Kendrick. Okay. To be honest, they'll probably give it to Brandy. Because uh, it Carlisle. is the Grammys and we know what they do. I'm going to go with uh, Adele. Either Adele or Brandy Carlisle because it's been a big year for her. Um, they're not going to give record of the year to anybody black. And they're of not going to give it to Beyonce. Um, I'm going to give you two more and then we can get out of here. The next one is Album of the Year. Voyage by ABBA. 30 by Adele. Un, un Verano Sin Ti. Bad Booney. Renaissance Beyonce. Well, geez, how many people is on this album? Help her make it. 800. Good Morning Gorgeous Deluxe Version. Mira J. Blige. I guess the regular version ain't that good. In These Silent Days, Brandy Carlisle. Music of the Spheres. Coldplay. They still making music? Wow. Mr. Morrell in the Big Steppers, Kendrick Lamar. Special by Lizzo. She made an album. Harry's House, Harry Styles. 
if Mary J. Blige wins for this and not all the other albums that should have won for album of the year, uh, I'm not even paying attention to this damn thing, but they should be shut down. Um, who's going to win, Steph? Beyonce is going to win this one for Renaissance only because that She album, didn't win Lemonade. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because that album was strictly for the gays. Ah, she's gonna get that album. She made that album strictly for the gays. Okay, she's definitely gonna win album of the year. Okay, I got you there. Yep, that yeah. makes she that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, she knew what she was doing. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know that God did by Jay Z, uh, Lil Wayne, and Rick Ross is nominated for best song of the mm-hmm. of the year. It ain't gonna win, but it's wow. not. But. Okay. Uh, thoughts on uh, Nicki Minaj being totally upset that she was snubbed out of the Grammy. She made a big mess about, big stink about being moved to pop. And in the process of being moved to pop, she didn't even get nominated. Thoughts? She needs to worry about keeping her husband away from children. Jeez. Okay. Okay. All right, I, I, well, guys, I, I I was gonna go through the hip hop, but I'm I'm not even gonna go. I'm I don't even want to do that now. We're done here. Hey. <laughs> Steph, shut it down. Yeah, we're Wait, done. We here. Should. We're done. I mean, wow. She needs to worry about keeping her kids. I mean, her her, her husband, husband away from children. Wow. Okay. Do you think she should have won? Are been nominated for a Grammy by now. What? What? I mean, well, won a Grammy by now. Do you think? If we're basing this, we're basing this on popularity or talent. I don't know what the Grammy bases it on. Talent, the Grammy award. Okay. Oh well, no. Okay. Not All that's right. my opinion. Y'all may feel different. Okay. I don't care either way. So we know. We know, John. Thank you for. Letting us know. I love Something it. we already know. Best R and B album: Good Morning Gorgeous Deluxe, Breezy Deluxe by Chris Brown, Black Radio Three by Robert Glasper, Candy Drip by Lucky Day, and Watch the Sun by PJ Morton. I must say that Black Radio Three by Robert Glasper is amazing. It's phenomenal, but they're oh gonna God. give it. To, they're gonna give it to Lucky Day. You think so? Mm-hmm. I think Robert Glasper is gonna pull it out. I hope so. Cause that that album is beautiful, but I think they're gonna give it to Lucky Day. He's the popular okay. choice right now. Okay, that's just right. my just my opinion. I don't. Again, I'll I'll stick to by what I've said on the podcast before. Black entertainers, your worth is better sought. It's better with your own people. You know that they use you guys for publicity. They bring the views there and never give you any awards, so y'all can cry about it. BET Awards at one time was the biggest thing going for us, and somehow we let that fall off. You don't see it with the Latinos because guess what? The Almas are the biggest thing for them. They don't care about no damn Grammys. The Alma Awards, though, shoo, they show it. They show up and show out. Let's get make the BET Awards great again. And even the Soul Train Awards. Yes, Soul Train Awards. We're going to talk about that on the podcast too on Tuesday about. Uh, uh, the the ladies of escape. We're gonna have Steph jump into that a little bit, as I know she would love to talk about that. Um, any closing words before we get out of here? Jesus loves y'all, and so do I. Appreciate that, Steph. He really does. John, my back hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for. I need a oh. heating pad. Yeah, or that bubbly's warming me up right now. So uh, I'm. You be can good stand in, in the. Sh- you can stand in the shower and let that shower hit you back directly. Uh, that's not going to do. I'm going to hit some more of this. Uh, really? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yep. Mm-hmm. You got to work tomorrow, so. Right. Be mindful. It's okay. Look at him. Don't let it break your soul. You can't take my soul. What is it, Steph? You can't take break. my soul. It's break. All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening to that was deliberate. Listening. Shoot. Listen to me. Thank you for watching <laughs> the podcast show. 
This is the Short Desk Podcast where we went over our drinks next week. Steph has us trying some poppables. And we can talk about next week, once again, why Jay-Z is one of the top 20 rappers. We're trying to catch this middle finger. Thank you guys for listening, subscribing, watching every Thursday. We're out.